I hate getting my hair cut. I don't have a regular place I go, I don't know why not. Obviously, what I ought to have done the last time someone cut my hair more or less competently and kept his or her mouth shut throughout is say, Right, you. I want you to cut my hair this time every month from now until one of us dies. But I've never had the wit to do that, so every time I have to choose somewhere anew. And I can't tell you the number of times I've refused at the final fence, got right up to the door before shying away and coming up with a trumped-up reason to leave it until tomorrow. Like, looks like being a chilly night, I'll need the extra hair to keep the tops of my ears warm. When I do finally get inside and they ask me, how long is it since you last had it cut, I always hear it as an accusation, like when the dentist asks you, and have to fight an impulse to lie. Especially as I usually have no idea how long it's been. Somewhere between six weeks and four months, usually. However long it takes hair to go from looking a bit too short to far too long. That long. Then they ask, how would you like it? To which all I can think is, like this, but less so. This is where I envy people who have their heads shaved, because they can literally order by number. Like at a Chinese restaurant. A number two or a number five. Surely we could extend that system to all haircuts, so I could go in, ask for a number 143F, and know that I'm getting precisely what I got last time. And then the actual grisly business begins. And the procedure's always slightly different, which unnerves me. For instance, some places wet the hair with that plant squirter type thing. Some places don't. Well, does it need to be wet or not? Because either I'm being unnecessarily squirted with water half the time, or I'm getting shoddy service the other half, and neither of those are good things. Worse still, sometimes they want to wash your hair, which you will be amazed to learn I hate. But you can't, or at least I assume you can't, turn it down, because it's not clear whether it's meant for your benefit or theirs. Is it supposed to be a delightful bonus? Not only a haircut, but even a hair wash. Hooray! Or is it for their sake, because they shouldn't be expected to have to put their hands into the greasy thatch I've just walked in off the street with, without combing out some of the more obvious bugs and bits of twig first? If it's for my benefit, I definitely don't want it. Someone is proposing to wash me for money. That makes me uncomfortable. Apart from hairdressers, I've not been washed by anyone but my parents, and that not for some considerable time. And then at the end, they hold a mirror up to the back of your head and ask you if you like it, which I find rather a useful service and have a couple of times asked for a little bit more off. Which brings me to my text for today. Why is that the part that everyone makes jokes about? Given everything that's horrible and discomforting about having your hair cut, why pick on that bit? That bit's fine, lay off that bit. It's the whole of the rest of it that's ghastly.